Good evening once again. We've heard a lot lately about the push to try and remove Carl Palladino from the Buffalo Public School Board. Now a group of parents is calling for the state to step in here and essentially remove the entire board from the equation. They tell 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan today that the board is just too dysfunctional to get anything done. As you know, our board has basically been a circus act. As a parent, I want what's best for my daughter, and I'm fighting every day to get what's best for my daughter, but not just for my daughter, for all children in our district. This group of parents thinks the Buffalo Public Schools Board of Education is broken, saying members get caught up in political infighting and ignore their responsibility to educate the city's children. All the discussion has been about personalities and different political positions, and the focus has not been on the children, putting children and families first. So the District Parent Coordinating Council is filing its own petition to remove Carl Palladino from the board, joining the board itself and other groups that have already done so. But these parents are taking it a step further, calling for the State Education Commissioner to place the entire district in receivership, essentially cutting off the authority of the board. You have a competent, proven individual that has sole authority over the district. They don't have a board that they have to go through. Our children need better than what they've received from the Board of Education. The group wants Superintendent Kreiner Cash to be handed control of all 60 schools in the district, something board member Larry Quinn thinks is a bad idea. You got to be careful what you wish for. Um, the, the superintendent is doing a fairly decent job, but he needs oversight. He needs to report to somebody, and you don't want to uh, untether his uh, operations from any kind of oversight. That would be a big mistake. Carl Palladino tells me he agrees with the parent group and says the district should be put into receivership. He did not comment on the group's petition to remove him from his seat. Right now, 15 of the district's 60 schools are performing so poorly they are already in receivership. For now, live in the newsroom, Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.